Hello guys, welcome again. Today we'll be talking about the GMAT Data Insights section. We're gonna break it down step by step and by the end of this video, you'll have a very good clarity about the section and how you can approach it further to maximize your score. Make sure to watch till the very end because there are some really actionable tips that you simply cannot afford to miss out on. So without further ado, let's get started. Time management basics. Well, firstly, let's talk about managing your time. In the new GMAT Focus, you get a total of 45 minutes for 20 questions. That's about two minutes and 15 seconds per question. But some questions are easier and quicker to solve than others. So you should use the time you save on easy questions for the tougher ones. Remember, guessing a probable option if you're running out of time is okay. Because as you know, now in the new GMAT focus, you can always come back and change up to three answers per section. The key here is to keep moving and not get stuck. Graphical interpretation. Graphical interpretation is all about understanding charts, graphs, and diagrams. This makes up 20 to 30% of data insights, which is approximately four to six questions out of 20. This tests how well you can read visual information. And and it's very less about math. It's about understanding the graphs. How to approach it? Well, first, take a deep breath. Some graphs look scary, but they're not as bad as they seem. Look at the overall shape or trend before diving into details. Read the title, labels, and any notes carefully, but make sure you don't get into every tiny detail at first. Always double check your work. One small mistake can change everything here, so make sure you always double check it. Next up is two-part analysis. This one's a bit tricky and many people find it one of the hardest parts. This makes up 10 to 20 percent of data insights, which is somewhere about three to four questions questions out of those 20. These can be about math, words, or logic. These can be anything. So just make sure after reading the question, you have a good clarity of what it is. In this section, sometimes the answer seems obvious and other times it's tough but it is quite natural. So how to tackle it? Read both parts of the question carefully before answering. If you're stuck somewhere, it's completely okay to make an educated guess and move on. Remember, you can go back and change up to three answers later. Be flexible and spend only a little bit of time on one question. Practice different types of two-part analysis questions as much as you can to get fully comfortable. Multi-source reasoning. This might be one of the toughest parts, so let's break it down as well. These are basically questions based on information from multiple sources. You'll see two to three tabs on your screen with different info. Each set of tabs comes with three questions and overall this makes up 10 to 20 percent of data insight. How to approach it? We'll start by reading all the information in all the tabs. Don't obsess over memorizing everything and make sure you focus more on understanding. Look for connections between the different sources of information. Remember, the key is to get the big picture, not every tiny detail. Data sufficiency. So let me tell you some good news. Data sufficiency in the new GMAT Focus Edition is now easier. A big part of data insights is about 20 to 40% of questions. Now the data sufficiency is less complicated, especially on the math side. It's more focused on logical thinking. How to tackle it? Being systematic and approaching each question step by step. Look for clues in the question itself. Sometimes they give you more info than you think. Don't worry about super hard math or questions. There's not much hard stuff in the exam and it's only basic math. So avoid getting involved and trying to solve those really hard practice questions. Practice eliminating answer choices you know that can't be right. Remember, you don't always need to solve the problem fully. Just know if you could solve it with the given information. Last but not least, let's talk about table analysis. These are questions based on data presented in table format. It looks a bit like a spreadsheet or Excel sheet, and this makes up about 10 to 20% of data insights, which is about two to four questions. What to expect? Each question usually has three parts, so get them all right to score. The math is usually simple, but you you have to pay attention to details. Sometimes the questions can be creative, so be ready to think outside the box. How to approach it? We'll start by understanding what each row and column represents. Read the question carefully. Sometimes you're asking for something unexpected. Take your time, read carefully, and solve step by step. Don't forget to use the calculator if you need it. And there you have it, a very brief but value-packed session on data insights. You're now equipped with the knowledge to tackle data insights like a pro. Remember, this section is all about careful reading, smart thinking, and staying calm under pressure. Practice these techniques and you'll be ready for anything the GMAT throws at you. See you in the next video. Until then, keep rocking.